How's it going guys? We are currently in the Lunar New Year update for Horizon 5 and as you may know European Automotive is next. It comes out in 10 days I think from now so we'll probably hear all about it next week at the latest. We'll talk about it here today. I'm pretty sure we've got some of the cars that are coming nailed down pretty nicely and maybe even a new feature as well. So European Automotive, what is coming? Well, first we have new Event Lab props. This could be anything really, I'm not going to waste too much time guessing what this could be. Event Lab props don't always correspond and relate to what the theme is about, so we'll skip past Event Lab props. It could be pretty much anything. New Cars is the interesting one. New Collectible, again, can't really have any guesses. New Events, however. The new Events could be something interesting. We'll talk about that last because that is last. We'll focus on the new cars to start with as that's everyone's favourite. So obviously it's European automotive. We can presume pretty safely that we are going to be getting a bunch of European cars. In the past we've had German automotive, Italian automotive, American automotive, Japanese automotive. We've had all sorts. All of which have had cars related to that region and most of them have had a car pack as well again we'll touch on that now cars made in the uk i will be referring to as european yeah we're not in the eu but i feel like it's part of the same region you know what i mean i am going to be classing uk made cars jaguar bentley as european possibilities for this next update so what cars are coming we can't just guess european because there's a lot of European cars out there. The first thing to touch on is not really a leak, but it's potentially a clue that we have received from Maserati. On the Forza Horizon official Twitter, we have this here, and it is an image of, it was on Valentine's Day, and it displays two Maseratis doing donuts in a love heart sort of shape. You can see that there's a love heart on the tarmac there. You may have seen Eric Chip's video already talking about it, but it's related to this topic, so I'm going to talk about this first. So yeah, keep this in mind. Forza has an official post, a photo of two Maseratis having some fun with a love heart on the tarmac. Now these two Maseratis are already in the game. That's not what we're referencing to here. The interesting thing is if we go over to Maserati, their Instagram account, they've got the exact same thing. A picture of a Maserati on tarmac with a love heart sort of tire picture you, you know what you know what you're looking at the interesting thing about this is the maserati in the picture on the maserati post is the mc20 which is not in forza horizon 5 the fact that both of these posts are both sort of doing the same thing one of them has a new car that's actually been spoken about for a while now if you didn't know the maserati mc20 has been in talks of being added to the game for a long time now and what do you know it's a European car, it's Italian. Let's have a look at where the Maserati leak originally came from and see what else was bundled up in that because we can maybe presume that all of that is coming as well if they are European. A good few months ago now, we had these nine cars leaked here. Now, when these were leaked, none of these nine cars were in the game. However, since then, they have actually been extremely accurate. The BMW M3 from 2021 was added to the game. The Celine S7 LM was added to the game. The KTM Expo GT2 was added to the game. The Ford Econoline Diberti was added to the game. Now that leaves a few cars left. What are those cars? The Aston Martin Lagonda. That is a European car. Ignoring the Mustang, that's the only one that's not right on this list. The Jaguar F-Type SVR 2020, a European car. The Bent Bentley Flying Spur a European car, and right at the bottom, the Maserati MC20. This has been leaked for several months now. The list has been accurate, and what are left are four European cars. Is this European automotive update the update we finally get these four cars? It's certainly possible, especially that Maserati MT20 that's been hinted at over on the Maserati Instagram page. Along with that, the Maserati MC20 was spotted in a Forza Motorsport campaign calendar i think or poster sorry i think it was campaign or, mo or multiplayer it was spotted within there but wasn't added to the game that confirms a hundred percent that at some point the mc20 has probably been scanned by the forza folk which means it's all ready is it going to come in the european automotive update we'll have to wait and see obviously the bonus to that would be getting the bentley the jag and the aston martin as well those are not the only cars that we can guess. If we go to the leaked car list, again, it's been really accurate so far. I think almost half of the cars have ended up being added. We have the four cars we've just spoke about down in the right hand corner and then potentially any other of the leaked cars that are on the list. The Vauxhall VX220 
it's made in the UK, it's a European car. That was leaked very, very recently, a couple of weeks ago, in one of the festival playlist icons. That is yet another European car that's on the list that we've not got yet. Believe it or not, there are more on this list. We have the Aston Martin V8 Vantage, the Aston Martin V12 Vantage, the Land Rover Defender, the Lotus Evora S, the TVR Tuscan S, and the Aston Martin Vanquish. These are all cars that have guaranteed been leaked before from Horizon 5, but we haven't got yet, and all of them could come within a European update. And if you look close enough, I'm sure there's one or two other cars on this list that are European as well. There's quite a lot of possible cars in this update, and the good thing is, every single time we guess what cars are gonna be an update, yes, some of them we get right, some of them we get wrong, but there are always surprises, like there are always cars that we have no idea were coming that were in the update. So even if some of these cars seem boring to you, there's definitely stuff we don't know about. I can guarantee you that. Now, speaking about the car pack, unfortunately, if I was to guess the Maserati MC20, I reckon is gonna be in the car pack. I don't know why, it just seems like the sort of the spotlight car. It's been talked about for ages now. Lots of people want it. If there's any car that's gonna be in the car pack, I would have guessed to be that. Hopefully not though, we like free cars more than paid cars, but if there is a car pack, I'll give away some codes, so stay subscribed. A few predictions from you folk, the only thing I want from a European update is the McLaren 7, 675LT, it's obviously possible, European is quite a big region to have car manufacturers for, so the, the possibilities are endless for this update. This guy suggests some French cars, Swedish cars, some Spanish cars. Um, a car pack now some of these cars are awesome the Koenigsegg Jesko Absolute how cool would that be the Polestar one now the Polestar logo was also spotted a few months ago as well so Polestar could certainly be coming the, there's a Bugatti a Koenigsegg there are some awesome cars on this list now I would love to see these come to the game now the last thing is new events now if I remember correctly we haven't had this icon before. If I'm wrong, please do correct me. But new events, I think, could be something quite interesting. I don't think new events will be talking about a new festival playlist or new races because, well, we know that we get that every week anyway. I'm hoping and praying that new events is talking about something like the World Cup event that we had or the Secret Santa event that we had, you know, a community event. That would be really cool. I'm really hoping this doesn't just mean a new festival playlist event because that's boring. Summit cool, please. What could it be that's European automotive related? Well, the Euros football is later on this year, around June, I think it begins. Playground Games are not shy of doing football related event. We did have the World Cup event in Forza Horizon 5, which wasn't actually during the same time as the World Cup, which again adds up perfectly. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any guesses of what that could mean. I'm hoping it's some kind of community event because we need it really. Leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all later.